Today, we're going inside the music of Arrow and The Flash with composer Blake Neely. Plus, we've got updates on DC Superhero Girls and Batman v Superman collectibles. So, get ready for DC All Access. Hey guys, I'm Jason Inman. And I'm Tiffany Smith. Snuggle up with a mug of hot cocoa because it's time to find out all the DC news you need to know. An extra-sized issue of Green Lantern comes out tomorrow and sees Hal Jordan having to grapple with a parallax paradox. Hal has to fight an alternate version of himself to save Earth. So pick up your copy of issue number 50 to see how he makes his way out of a losing battle. Omega Men is one of the most compelling books on shelves now. It follows a group of vigilante aliens who've kidnapped Kyle Rayner. After Kyle refuses to play by their rules, the Omega Men are forced to find another way to take down their corrupt government. Well, actually, Kyle didn't say he wouldn't take down the government. He sort of said, I can't take down the government. And that's sort of a distinction with Kyle in that he sort of believes that he's incapable of doing what Callista is asking him to do, which is an act of terrorism. In issue nine, you see Kyle try to find a way to sort of compromise in that position, to find a way between uh, the way of the Citadel, which is sort of oppression, and the way of the Omega Men, which is terrorism. And he does his best to sort of find a third way. And then because this is Omega Men, everything goes horribly wrong. You can abduct your copy of issue nine this week. In Vertigo news, survival of the fittest has never had higher stakes than in Unfollow. With a fortune on the line that will be divided amongst the survivors of a group of 140 strangers, the casualties slowly start to tick upwards. Artist Mike Dowling is knocking it out of the park on this series, so grab your copy of issue number five starting tomorrow. The new LEGO animated movie sees the Justice League team up with the Legion of Superheroes. LEGO Justice League Cosmic Clash is out on Blu-ray and DVD today, so pick up your copy to see how the super teams stop Brainiac from taking over the world. On the DC Collectibles side, Wonder Woman is joining the lineup of statues based on Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. Diana battles her way into stores next month, but you can pre-order yours now to have it just in time for the movie. And the DC Superhero Girls line starts rolling into Target today. The action figures, dolls, and role-play toys are the first of their kind designed for girls. So head out and discover your inner superhero. For this week's featured story, we're talking with Blake Neely, the composer of Arrow and The Flash, to see how music can bring superheroes to life on the small screen. Check it out. Now, first off, how did you come up with the main theme for The Flash? I don't really know how I came up with the sound. I just locked myself in a dark room for several weeks and just stared at posters. Yeah, I know of uh, comic book pictures from DC that because we didn't have the costume yet, we didn't have, nothing was shot. Mm -hmm. Before we even did it, fans were saying, oh, is it going to be really fast music? I'm like, eh, I don't know if it's going to be really fast music. But <laughs> I kept thinking of I wanted to write it like the sound of a, of a jet taking off. What drove the music of Arrow? So I had this idea to only use instruments that were bowed. You know, get it, pun, bow and arrow. So I started with that, and then I just started building and building. You know, and when you're doing it, you don't know if it's ever gonna last, if it's even gonna get approved. Fast forward to three years later, and my son's playing uh, DC Legos video game. Okay. He's like, Dad, come here, Dad, come here. And he just unlocked the arrow level. Mm -hmm. And my music was playing. Oh, that's awesome. And it was like one of the coolest things, because I had no idea they'd done it or that they'd used it. That they even put it in there. Yeah. All right, now let's flip, we got to get out of the dark. Let's go to the light, Supergirl. Yeah. Where do you go to create the TV Supergirl theme? When I created Flash, it's how do you sort of make it live in the same world as Arrow, but be its own thing. With Supergirl, is like, all bets are off. So Greg and I talked a lot about the sound, and he wanted to do more of an homage to what John Williams had done in the Richard Donner film. Mm -hmm. So it was, more orchestral, mostly orchestral. Um, and it was just, it was funner and lighter. You said light, and that's yeah. exactly what it was. Blake Neely, thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you very much. Now it's time for the panel of the week. 
Before we go, we've got a prize pack from Funko's Legion of Collectors subscription service. Now, inside this, Tiffany, I don't know if you know, there's going to be an exclusive pop vinyl of the armored Batman from Batman v Superman. There's going to be a really cool t-shirt and all kinds of other cool stuff that only one lucky fan out there is going to win. For your chance to win, make sure you let us know in the comments below your favorite panel from last week's DC Comics. But be sure to include the phrase, my DCAA entry. See you guys tomorrow. Let's look at this. <gasps> What's in it? What's in it? What's in it?